Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Roblox. In this video, we'll dive into the Micro Profiler, what it is and why it's so powerful. We'll get oriented, troubleshoot a performance issue, and even do some math. Everyone loves math. The Micro Profiler is a performance optimization and troubleshooting tool. Rather than higher level averages like frames per second, the Micro Profiler lets you get down to the, well, micro level. You can examine individual frames and all of the processes that make up those frames. As you might imagine, this level of detail comes with a bit of complexity. I'm using Studio here for convenience, but the best place to use the Micro Profiler is in the Roblox client on the lowest end device that you want to support. To open the Micro Profiler, press Control F6 on Windows or Command F6 on Mac OS. You'll see a bunch of bars appear at the top of the screen. Each bar represents one frame from your experience with new frames flowing in from the right. The height of each bar indicates how long it took to render the frame. Hover over any bar for more information. The real power of the Micro Profiler, though, is in detailed mode. Press Control P or Command P to pause, which automatically switches you to the timeline. From there, you can left click and drag to pan in any direction. On a modern computer with many CPU cores, you might need to pan up and down quite a bit to find threads that are doing anything at all. Scrolling zooms you in and out with the green indicator on the graph showing your zoom level. To jump to a particular frame, right click it on the graph. Each colored label on the timeline represents a process, something your experience is doing as part of rendering that frame. Wider labels represent processes that took longer to complete. When you see a label directly underneath another label, that means you're looking at a child process, a process that runs as part of the process above it. Because parent processes can't finish until all their children do, you often want to troubleshoot the longest running, lowest level child processes. If you're asking, what are all these processes anyway? Me too. There are hundreds of them and it's hard to keep them all straight. So we documented the most important ones at create.roblox.com, link in the description. If the level of visual clutter is too much, use the groups menu to filter the list of visible labels until you get to something more manageable. Let's examine a more concrete scenario. Generally speaking, we want Roblox experiences to run at 60 frames per second. There are 1,000 milliseconds in a second, so if we divide 1,000 by 60, we can see that we want a new frame every 16.67 milliseconds. If we get 59 frames after 10 milliseconds, and then one frame after 410 milliseconds, that causes a huge jarring stutter, even though the math works out to 60 FPS. So consistent frame times are more important than average frame rate. This experience doesn't feel quite right, even though the frame rate summary usually says 60 FPS. If we open the Micro Profiler, we can see these frame time spikes. Remember, we want consistent frame times, so even at a glance, right after opening the Micro Profiler, we know something's wrong. Some frames are taking way, way longer than others. If we examine one of the smaller frames, nothing jumps out. But if we look at one of the slow frames, whoa there, we can see this massive process in one of the worker threads, and in particular, a label called Shady Rays. The Micro Profiler provides a lot of clues for where to look. Shady Rays is a script, running under runservice.heartbeat, and the problematic code seems to have to do with ray casting. Search for Shady Rays in the Explorer, open it, and examine the code. We can see the same runservice.heartbeat event that we saw in the Micro Profiler, so we know we're on the right track. This script is short, but if it were long or complex, we could wrap portions of it in debug profile calls. In this case, though, the culprit seems pretty clear, so let's comment out the function and see what happens. Now our frames are all arriving in about 16.67 milliseconds, and camera movement feels consistent and smooth. This time, all we had to do was comment out some code, but in other cases, you might need to reduce the number of light sources, modify your environment to prevent high transparency overdraw, or spread a particularly intensive calculation across many frames. For more information on using the Micro Profiler to optimize your experience, check out the documentation at create.roblox.com. Thanks for watching.